for South Sound serves Mason and Thurston County. We have eight meal sites for community dining where seniors, anybody 60 and over, or their spouse, uh, maybe younger, uh, can come in and enjoy a meal uh, Monday through Friday, depending on the site. And then we send out Hot Meals on Wheels, and the days we don't send out Hot Meals on Wheels, we send out Frozen Meals on Wheels. Um, we do over 100,000 meals a year, and we have about 3,000 clients that we serve. All our meals are fresh made, uh, we try to buy local when we can. Um, they all have three servings of fruits and vegetables, three ounces of protein, uh, two grains, and, and a dairy. For a lot of our seniors, the Meals on Wheels driver may be the only person they see for that day or that week, uh, depending on the delivery schedule. Our meals provide a third of a person's needs um, each day, but for about 50% of our seniors, it provides um, over 50% of their dietary needs for the day. So. We prepare fresh meals four days a week. We only put in the meals what we would eat ourselves. It has to be fresh, it has to be colorful, it has to be full of nutrition, and uh, we take this job very seriously. You know, you know, we don't all have that family and friend support that um, people used to have, you know, that can bring us meals and take care of us. So um, part of our role is to keep people who want to stay in their home, in their home and healthy. I really believe that there are a lot of people that would go hungry um, if we didn't provide this service. Uh, when we can no longer feed them because we have a wait list, um, we have to turn them away. And the food bank actually called me and said, you know, I've gotten a rush on seniors, what's going on? And I had to tell them that we have a wait list and that we can't help them. And that hurts my heart because we're their last hope. And I take this very seriously. I lay awake at night sometimes and say, did I remember so and so? And uh, if I find out that someone's new to the program and just got released from the hospital or the nursing home, I do my best to take food to them because they don't have anything else. So that is the seriousness of it to me. And um, so I don't like it when we have a wait list. <laughs>
uh, when I was a hundred, I uh, went in to get a license, and it was so complicated. I said, "Forget it." I just I couldn't get out, and it's, it's surprising when you have a car all your life, and all of a sudden you don't have any transportation, and uh, so you have to get to get the good food. You have to go to the show. So. I recommend it, and I say it's uh, excellent. It's, it's good for people, and uh, I was surprised because I didn't know anything about it. And all of a sudden, this man came and door with his food, and I said, "What's it all this?" And he says, "It's we will feel." And uh, I said, "Well, that's interesting." So we put the food away, and I talked to him. And the boy said, "Oh yes, we got got because we're we're going to have to leave you again. We I got to get home. I've been here too long." And uh, then it would meant that I had no car, couldn't get to town or anything else. So it was really I was in a bind, and it's worked out well. I'm really happy.